Hey guys, this is Crystal Blacklock with Blacklock Beats. I'm here to give you guys a recent tutorial as far as authorizing your ignition key. Now, say that you have gone uh, to the support and you've tried everything, um, you've followed the, the, uh, the links and you've done everything that you've needed to do. Then, um, then generally, uh, as far as authorizing your license and authorizing it to your ignition key, this is what um, this is what you'll need to do. Um, and this is basically if you have a PC. Sorry, Mac users, I don't have a Mac, so um, you know this will be def this will definitely be good for those of you who have a PC and need that um, need that information. So the first thing um, that you have to do. Um, and make sure you've done this before you uh, before you try this. Make sure you have registered your software at the site. You cannot authorize that ignition key unless you have gone to the site. Secondly, um, with depending on the uh, the browser that you're using, I recommend Mo recommend Mozilla. You have to make sure that you actually uh, authorize the computer to do it too. And it's uh, and and it tells you on the site here how to go about doing that. So, say you've done everything and uh, basically you're still having problems. Alright, the first thing you're going to do is on your keyboard press Alt T. That's great, that pops up. First thing you're going to do is press Alt T. Alright, and the first thing that's going to pop up is a little tab at the top for the uh, tools window. When you get to this window, go down to where it says options click on options and it's gonna give you uh, this little pop-up window yours will probably end up on general first but if you go over here to applications you should be able to uh, you should be able to scroll down everything is in alphabetical order now for the reason file if you've done everything how you're supposed to you should see this little thing here that says frem p h r e m now most of you most of you guys is probably going to be on use reason program file this one right here the thing you need to do is switch this over to use authorizer program file this first one you're going to click on it and that's what and that's what uh you're going to use you're going to press okay and then you're going to go ahead once you press okay and go back to your uh and go back to your to your account and then you'll hit the authorize keys button. Once you actually authorize that, everything is going to pop up and you should have an authorizer uh, right here that you can click to authorize that ignition key now. Now, um, if you guys are still having problems or you still need questions, uh, I recommend you go here to the support tab um, and go to user support. For those of you who are more comfortable calling, um, make sure you click on whatever your issue is, whether it be with the uh, rack extensions, balance, reason, uh, the program itself, or the user account. If it's licensed and authorizations, click it, and then um, it's going to take you to uh, it's going to take you to a page so you can actually uh, get some get some support and. Um, and get that if you need to contact support if you click on the support contact here um, you'll be able to either call line six which is who propeller head is marketed through or you can email them I highly recommend calling and it should be the uh, first option uh, for all for propeller head recording products so make sure you guys do that if you tried everything and you're still having problems they have a pretty good tech support that will help take care of that alright that number is 1-818-575-3600 so alright hope this has been helpful this has been Crystal Blacklock with Blacklock Beats you guys keep making great music bye bye